Make sure to stay tuned for the end of this video. We have an important announcement about our giveaway that you do not want to miss. The most important part of setting up any board is some coffee to do it. And so there's only one coffee I drink, says it on the mug, it's the only one, Thunder King Coffee. Hey, well I had to go ahead and set up a new board anyway, I broke my other one. If you saw the last video, you know that I broke my board when we were skating at a local skate park. So I thought it'd be fun just to kind of go through my setup and kind of what works for me as a skateboarder. So the first thing, um, the boards I ride, I ride for a company called Untitled Skateboards. This is an eight point five board. I really love just like the concave of this. This is one of my favorite graphics. Um, so I will say if you are stoked on this company, the good thing is it goes back and everything supports the nonprofit that Judd does there. Um, so yeah, just a really cool company. They have a really cool message. And one of my favorite things about Untitled Skateboards is they actually put scripture on all of their boards. So it really is, if you've seen anything in skateboarding, you've seen the Thrasher logo that looks similar to this. And so that verse is literally saying he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. And so a lot of times you'll see me wearing some Thrasher stuff, but you'll never see me wearing one with a goat. You'll never see me wearing the actual the pentagram from Thrasher just because I don't believe in that. I don't mess with that kind of stuff. I love what they're doing as a company, but just that symbolism of what it represents is not something that follows in line with my culture and my beliefs. And so I'm just going to make sure that, man, I'm supporting the things that are speaking life because that's important to me. Um, just the companies that I ride for, the, the products that I buy, when you get a little bit older, you start finding out and realizing you want to spend money on things that you value, that have the same mission as you, and that are just as important. That graphic is one of my favorite. I love orange. The other graphic I would recommend is this one right here. Um, yeah, and it's on the wall because it's one that we did with Untitled. So Varsity did basically a collaboration board with them. And so I got to sit down and kind of help design it. And we hired someone to do the actual design and make sure that it looks really, really good. So you can check those out at untitledskate.com. Make sure to go there and get yours. For grip tape, so I ride, it is Jessup, but we have our own Varsity Grip. And so this is something that um, I actually hand painted or hand spray painted all these on here. So we just had a stencil. So I just went ahead and stenciled all these on there. I like Jessup just because I do a lot of grab tricks. And so it doesn't tear up my thumb super quick. I also, when I did a lot more flip tricks, I love skating mob but it would just tear up my shoes really fast. And when I started skating a lot of transition and grab tricks, it really started tearing up my thumb really, really quick. So the thing I appreciate about Jessup is that I'm able to skate, I'm able to do those grab tricks and not tear up my thumb super fast. So for the trucks that I ride, I ride the same trucks pretty much forever. And so there's only one that I ride and it says it right there on there. Independent trucks except no substitutes. And it's a crazy story about how I started riding them. There was someone at my local skate park that was so bought into independent trucks that they took the other trucks that I had on at the time and literally would not give them back and gave me a free pair of independent trucks. And they said, if you like them, I want you to keep them. I want to be the person that purchases your first pair of indies for you. And if not, then I want you to try another pair that's a little bit different style and I'll buy them for you as well. And honestly, I put these on and man, they broke in right away. I remember skating in the pool and just being able to carve around the pockets really fast, really easy. And it's not like I had to break them in. Everything was smooth and they grind. And honestly, the company is just an incredible company. If you think of skateboarding, you think of independent trucks. They're just iconic. So I ride for this company called Powerflex Wheels. They are seriously one of my favorite wheels out there. This company, um, Jim Gray owns it right now. If you don't know who Jim Gray is, he invented the Jim Jam, the Backside Sweeper, and then also invented the Gray Slide. And so I really love this company. They've been around for quite a while. From my understanding, they were one of the first wheel companies, and then Jim just recently brought them back. And I love that they're just simple, they're clean, they're fast. It, it has kind of that old school look, which is kind of the style that I like anyway. But I've skated these wheels 
probably for five or six years and I've not skated anything different just because of how good they are. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I ride for them. If I didn't ride for them, and Jim will tell you this as well, I've tried to buy them from him numerous times. So just because I get them for free doesn't mean they're good. They're good because they're actually good. For bearings, I keep it pretty simple. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of orange, and so I just ride the Bronsons, the G3s. They're fast, they're simple, they get me from point A to point B and just keep me pushing through those pockets and those deep ends of the bowl. A lot of the small parts and pieces I use are independent as well, so I do ride some riser pads. Um, these are 1 8 inch, and so you can see they're independent riser pads as well. They're just black, they're simple, they're easy, and they help me get just that little bit of space so I can have a little bit of extra pop anytime I am snapping my tail. And to go along with that, even the bushings, I just love putting the independent ones in there. And so these are the 78s, they're the super soft bushings. Um, yeah, once again, they're just easy to break in. I'm not tightening them all the way down anyway because I skate a lot of transition, I turn a lot, and so I don't necessarily need something hard um, that's gonna crack and that's gonna break. And then the last thing for every single board that I always have, I want to make sure I have all the sponsor stickers on there, right? So you'll see um, the Wicked Audio sticker. We got to make sure that's on there at all times. Want to make sure we've got the Nike sticker on there. Every board on the nose, every time, gets a Volcom Stone. This is something when I was like younger, I pretty much always wanted to have. And I remember seeing my favorite skateboarders having them on the nose of their board. And so when I was able to start getting them from Volcom, I was so stoked. Definitely not sponsored by this company, but I wish I was. And so, Yeti, if you see this and you want to send me more stickers or maybe even a $400 cooler, hit me up because uh, stickers on the board. That is my setup. It's pretty simple. I literally ride the same thing every single time, but that's it. And I'm super excited for this one. I like the colorway of it. The yellow kind of matches the yellow on here. I know it's the, it's the small things as you get older, like what you like and what you don't like. So we are actually going to head to Springfield Skate Park. We're going to film the second run for the Olympic um, quarter qualifiers for Men's Park. So we're going to take this board down there. Soak to have a new one to skate um, for the run, but take it down there, head there, and we'll see you guys there. Well, we had an incredible time in Springfield. We actually had so much footage we thought we would release that vlog next week because we just did so much stuff that it would have been an extremely long video this week. So we're going to save that for next week. And normally this is the time where we would do the giveaway. It's where we draw someone for the winner of the raffle, but what we wanted to do is we noticed a few people hadn't claimed the prizes from before. And so we're gonna take all of those prizes and we're gonna go ahead and make one giant varsity prize pack. So if you sign up to do this giveaway, what you're going to win is two of our varsity skateboarding organization beanies. Face mask from Charlie Hetzel for you and your entire family. And not just face masks, but you're going to win socks for you and your entire family from Bombas Socks. A pair of our Varsity Shades. And two of our Varsity Dad Hats. And to enter this giveaway is going to be the same that we've done every other time. There's only three things you need to do. And the first one is... Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Second, make sure you're following Varsity Skateboarding on Instagram. And third, you're going to want to look for this post on our Instagram page, comment and make sure to tag three people. We're going to announce the winner of that video next week. And if you entered the raffle this week, we're going to automatically put your name into the raffle for next week. Well, thank you guys for watching, and as always, thanks for hanging. hanging.